Pack your bags. It's the message to Muslims mailed to mosques around the country, including two right here in South Florida. The sick letters call for genocide, each one photocopied with a return address in California. They've turned up at nearly a dozen mosques in California, Georgia, Pennsylvania, and Ohio, and now right here in Florida at Islamic centers in Miami Gardens and a second undisclosed location in Broward County. It's where we find CBS 12's Israel Balderas live for us tonight in Israel. How are Muslims responding to this? Well, John, from here in Broward, down south to Miami-Dade and Palm Beach County, the Muslim community is really nervous tonight, afraid and rightfully so. And that's because the person who gleefully wrote this vile and hateful letter actually hints of killing all Muslims. And this person suggests such evil act would be led by the incoming president. These type of letters could easily uh, be uh, a first step of something bad happening. As the communications director for the Council on American Islamic Relations in Florida, right attorney here. Wilfredo Ruiz stays on top of threatening trends. The latest one involving this letter sent to mosques in Miami Gardens and an undisclosed location in Broward County. The sender, an anonymous group calling itself Americans for a Better Way. The postmark? California. These haters who send these type of letters is really to try to have an America divided. You Muslims are a vile and filthy people, this hater writes, but your day of reckoning has arrived. Going on to say there's a new sheriff in town, President Donald Trump. He's going to do to you Muslims what Hitler did to the Jews. There's always going to be people that are on edge. Sharif Al Husseini is the president of the Islamic Center of Palm Beach. Although he hasn't received this latest threatening letter, the mosque has been a target of hate crimes in the past. Nonetheless, Al Husseini sees more positive reaction from our local community, treated like a neighbor. I've seen an overwhelming response from the community here, from people that are calling us, leaving us, uh, calling us, leaving us messages saying that, listen, I'm not Muslim, but I support you. And we're back out live now. The Huffington Post reports tonight that the Los Angeles Police Department believes it's days away from identifying the person who is sending these hate-filled letters. And the FBI director, James Comey, now has a letter on his desk asking the Bureau to open an investigation. Reporting live in Broward County, I'm Israel Balderas.